I really hate to knock on a company's choice of style. And I know, Noctua has an amazing standout aesthetic here. I mean, who else has the guts to do brown and beige? I mean, nobody. But darn it, I keep looking at the walls and the carpet color in my house. I mean, that's why I got all this backdrop here, just to hide that dull beige color. And I think, ugh. Hey guys, Hardware Hound here, and I know I am a lover of all things RGB, and so I love the flash and the colors, and the black and the dark grays, and Noctua may not offer all that with this particular CPU cooler, but that doesn't mean we aren't talking about an amazing, amazing unit. So a while back, Noctua had sent me these little fans here to test out. And it's a fan that has a number. It's like the A1225 by something or other. It's so hard to remember all those things. So I'll just show it to you while I'm talking about it. But yeah, these guys are a special design. So they make the plastic with that, I mean, if you can call it, I guess it's a type of plastic. But the thing that they use, the material they use to make the blades is a very hardened material. Because what happens is as fan blades spin, they expand a little bit. Well, if they expand and you have them too close to the frame edge, they'll hit the edge and then come to a dead stop or start making scraping noises. So in order to get a fan blade that can get super close to the edge of the frame, like these guys do, you need to have a special material. And that's what Noctua did with this fan. Well, after they have this awesome fan that now has really good airflow and really good static pressure, Noctua says, hey, let's throw this on a CPU cooler and let's get some crazy performance out of a smaller unit. So these are 120 millimeter fans on a 120 millimeter type. I mean, the tower's a little longer than that because of the base, but a 120 millimeter style size CPU cooler. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heat pipes in this little compact design. And we don't just have the one fan on the front. We also have the secondary fan on the back. So we've got two fans to help double that cooling performance. And Noctua claimed that this guy could keep up with 140 millimeter size towers. Did they? Yes. Heck yes, they did. In fact, I had a Reven, I believe, Okeanos double tower CPU cooler and this guy was keeping up with it. It blew my mind. This thing has crazy, crazy, crazy cooling performance. I mean, oh my gosh. It, it, it's just fantastic. I don't think you're going to find a cooler this size that is gonna even come close to competing to the cooling performance this has. And on top of that, guys, we had fantastic sound levels. I mean, this thing was still below my 40 decibel range. I did find some coolers that are quieter than Noctua, which surprised me, but I mean, to a degree where I just don't think it matters. I mean, Noctua seems to cover that low end quiet level, and if you need even more quiet, you can always throw those low noise adapters on the fans and then they'll be even quieter. So Noctua always thinks it does a good job of spreading that difference. It's just, just phenomenal quality. You're not going to be able to complain about that. The installation process too on these guys are just fantastic. I still don't think there is one cooler company out there who does a better job than Noctua on install. Now I've seen maybe one or two companies who come close, but I don't think anybody does better. Noctua is the absolute best when it comes to installation. Unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to veer off a little bit. So, guys, why do I complain about brown and beige? I actually don't do it for myself. Now, I don't like brown and beige, and that's fine. That's just a personal preference. However, I do read a lot of comments on the internet, and I keep track of other people, and a lot of people have said the statement, if they would just get rid of these colors, I would totally put one of these in my computer. 
And that's why I pick on brown beige, not because I want to pick on brown beige, but because if a, there's a legit chance that maybe that color choice is hurting Noctua and their ability to sell units. Now, Noctua has gotten some black fans and done some good jobs with that. And I have to, I dare say that just the tower performance alone, if you want to put your own different style of fans on there, might be well worth it. But if Noctua could give in to that gaming flair just a little bit, it would probably be a whole new market. Or maybe add a gaming division to their CPU cooler, something that is for the flair in the gamers out there who love dark black colors and shiny RGB lights to appeal to that stream, and then keeping this as their professional product line, where, hey, no, you got brown and beige because you wanted to prove a point. I have the best quality unit in my system. Because Noctua is up there. The other problem that we're gonna have this unit though, is it is close to a hundred bucks retail. It is not a value. Now that said, for its size, I believe it's worth every penny and the quality. You're gonna buy this unit because you want great cooling performance and you don't have a very good amount of case space to, to spare when you're installing the CPU cooler. And in that level, yeah, $100 worth. This thing's gotten coming close to 240 millimeter closed loop coolers. That's ridiculous. Worth the money for sure, but not a great value because the simple fact is you can get a D15 for like 10 bucks cheaper and I guarantee you an Octua D15 is gonna give you better cooling performance than this guy. So while I can't really give it the great style and that, I mean, I kind of want to give it great style because Noctua has made a branding choice, but I feel like that's not fair to what I know of from what I've heard throughout the computer industry of, of you know, actual builders. And while I'd love to give it a great value, it's just, it's obviously not a value component. It's got a very specific need and it does a great job doing that. I still gotta say, this has great performance and great functionality. I mean, this is a fantastic CPU cooler, guys. And if you need something this size, you won't be disappointed. Guys, I got way more details in my written review at hwhound.com. I actually have the link in the description below to the actual review. So check that out. You can see more like packaging and see a little more details like my CPU cooler hierarchy chart, which is gonna help you see how this compares on an overclocking level to see what kind of CPU cooler you wanna get. Guys, I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe as always if you wanna help out. And don't be afraid to share this content out because that's helpful too. I will catch you later.